Hello everyone, welcome again in Engman YouTube channel. So in this video, we will continue our learning on CO2 sequestration modeling. And as usual, we will model the we will model everything with CMG software. It's a very powerful tool for CO2 geological storage modeling. All right, and it's been a while since we did this exercise last time. All right, but previously we have covered about the fluid modeling. We incorporate the mineralization and we did that in WinProp. Okay, so after WinProp, now we need to deal with the builder. Okay, because we want to modify a little bit about this, the model. Okay, and I will start for mineralization trapping. I will start the model using the previous model which is the CO2 storage that's already incorporate, of course, structural trapping, hysteresis trapping, and solubility trapping. Okay, so you just add the trapping one step at a time, starting from structural trapping. You then add hysteresis trapping, and then solubility trapping. And now I'm going to add one more trapping, mineral trapping. Okay, so it's almost the final step of the trapping that will permanently keep the CO2 in the subsurface, okay? So this is my starting file. I already saved this file in another folder to keep the model until the solubility trapping. Now I just copy that file and then this, the copied file, I'm going to rename mineral trapping because we will add mineral trapping okay on top of the solubility trapping mineral so mineralization like this okay and let's say solubility harvey i just i will keep that name all right now we need to do some modification on the builder okay so we will use the dat file for the builder and drop it here. All right. All right, so now we are inside the builder already. Okay, just to check our model here. All right, you see the well bore here and the perforation and this is our aquifer model. Okay, and then let's go to rock fluid or maybe component, I mean component. Okay, and then here we have the rock type, all right, or if I expand this component properties, you can expand, right? Okay, and then you can right click and import WinProp generated model. Okay, this is the one what this is the one that we need because we already create the WinProp file that incorporate the mineral trapping or the mineral reaction. So click on that. Okay, so I just type in for the molality aqueous primary. You can follow me here, the value. And then I add volume fraction, mineral, anorthite, calcite, and kaolinite. This is the value. Okay, so, and then you control save, you save, and then it will be colored green here. Okay, let's see if we can explain something here, something that we already put on the editing. Okay, so you already know this for the, to stop or to neglect the vaporization of water. This is derivative for the reaction. All right, and then this is CO2 and then aqueous, all right? Okay, so maybe we can stop it here. So this keyword, and then we have this keyword. I just make a note about the components and this will be followed by this values. Okay, which is the number of aqueous components, all right? And then these numbers represent the number of molecules. Okay, this is important. So these numbers 
represent the number of molecules of CO2 in each of these aqueous components, all right? So of course, there is no CO2 in H+, plus. of course. There is no H CO2 in Ca2+, plus, all right? But there is CO2 inside this because we have one carbon item from CO2 to this CO2 H CO2 three minus and some will go towards CO2 three minus, all right? So again, this will be, this value, this number will show or will represent the number of molecules of CO2 in each of these aqueous components. That's why this ionization, it's actually another trapping, okay? Because it, it takes the CO2 from free phase or from the trapped, trapped condition to the ionized condition. All right, and CO2 MNR fact, okay? This keyword is followed by this, zero, 01 or zero, 010. Zero. Okay, this is the number of the minerals. This number represents the number of molecules of CO2 in each of the mineral component. So you can say there is no CO2 goes to anorthite, goes to kaolinite, but there will be CO2 goes to or becomes calcite. All right? Okay, because, you know, in calcite, you have Ca, CO3. All right? Or maybe if you have dolomite, there will be CO2 also goes to and becomes the dolomite. All right? So that's what happens. And then in initialization section here, 